tennis has a long history of youngsters making a racket. Overachieving youth seemed a thing of the past, given the sport's increasingly physical nature and lengthier pro careers. But in 2021, half of the ATP's year-end top 10 are aged 24 or younger. The success of youth is reflected on the WTA Tour as well. Naomi Osaka and Sofia Kennan broke through for slam titles aged 21 or under, while Bianca Andreescu was just 19 when she won the US Open. Along with freakish abilities, they have beloved personas off the court. The youngest of the young represent Generation Z, a cohort that cares about diversity, equality and inclusion. So among the buzz of the Australian Open, let's take a look at five standout teenagers in the world of tennis. Humble Italian maestro Yannick Sinner possesses incredibly clean ball striking, an early contact point and serious power, all coming from superior technique plus a composed on-court presence. Sinner did not have a singles ranking until February 2018. In the past two seasons, he's jumped from outside the top 500 to world number 37 and is now the youngest top 100 men's player. 2020 was when he really stepped up. A month after Roland Garros, he won his first ATP title in Sofia, Bulgaria to slide into the top 40. He finished the season by winning 16 of his final 21 matches and should have great confidence going into the new tennis season. Italian tennis is on a meteoric rise. Lorenzo Musetti is another hot talent from the Mediterranean. Musetti turned professional in 2019 after a successful junior career in which he won the Australian Open and was ranked number one in the world. His highest ever career ranking is world number 123, which he achieved in October 2020. When the tennis season restarted, Musetti clocked up his first ever tour level wins, defeating Stan Wawrinka and Kei Nishikori in Rome. Not bad, beating a couple of household names. This achievement made him the first ever player born in 2002 to win an ATP Tour match. Do you feel old as well? Amanda Anisimova is already near the top 20 thanks to a semi-final run at Roland Garros in 2019, where she overpowered Simona Halep to become the youngest Grand Slam semi-finalist in 12 years, before almost overcoming eventual champion Ash Barty. She first announced herself at age 16, with an incredible defeat of world number no. 9 Petra Kvitova at Indian Wells in 2018, where she reached the fourth round. Her success is built around pure ground strokes, her backhand in particular is a robust weapon and a serene yet fierce on-court demeanour. She's sure to be around for a while yet. Not long ago, Iga Sviatek was ranked 54th in the world until a maiden Grand Slam title at the 2020 French Open catapulted her into the world's top 20 and saw her become the WTA's freshest young star. The Pole's achievements represented the sharpest of improvements. She had never previously been past the last 16 at a slam or won a WTA title. At Roland Garros, she swept aside all challengers, including Sofia Kennan and Simona Halep, to lift the trophy without dropping a set. Athleticism and an iron forehand are elements that make her formidable. But Sviatek is one of few youth players to employ a full-time sports psychologist for the challenges of being on tour.
Coco Golf was all the talk at Wimbledon when the then 15-year-old qualified for the main draw in 2019, upset Venus Williams and then reached the fourth round. She backed up that run by making the fourth round at the 2020 Oz Open. Stunning defending champion Naomi Osaka along the way. The magical golf has already beaten four top 15 opponents, won a WTA title and made it into the top 50. The youngest player in this rankings bracket by far. Her maturity is noticeable in the way she plays. Clever shot selection coupled with a healthy balance of offense and defense. Whatever opponent 2021 throws at her, Goff is certain to hit back. I think I can beat anyone um, who's across the court, and um, if I don't think I can win the match, then I won't even step on the court. A keener focus on mental health is one of the many exciting ways the next generation of tennis stars could change the sport forever.